everybody we were doing the revision of lesson number 6 that is birds and their bodies till now we have discussed about how do birds fly about feathers about beaks found in different birds so can you tell me what is the bird's mouth called yes right the bird's mouth is called as beak now tell me do all, all birds have same type of beak no definitely not the different birds have different kinds of beaks the beaks are suited the kind of food they eat so can you tell me what kind of beak does a hummingbird have and what does it eat yes the hummingbird has long thin beak like a straw which help it to suck a nectar from the flower and what about the woodpecker what kind of beak woodpecker have the woodpecker have sharp pointed beak with this sharp pointed beak tell me what does it do yes it taps the bark of the tree and pulls out insects now tell me which bird has a strong curved beak and what does it eat yes you guess right a parrot has a strong curved beak which help the parrot to crack the seeds and nuts how does the broad flat beak of the duck help it tell me yes the broad flat beak of the duck help it to scoop up muddy water in which plants and insects are present beside the beak there is a small hole through which the muddy water flows out and the plant and the insect remain inside the mouth of the duck which it eats now here are some birds picture you have to guess the name of the food which it eats yes so can you see the picture can you guess the food of the bird eats yes right this is the picture of a sparrow and the sparrow eat seeds so i am putting a tick on the seeds this is the picture of an eagle now tell me what does the eagle eat small animals or nuts yes the eagle eats small animals so i am putting a tick on the small animals an eagle eats small animals yes This is the picture of a parrot bird. Now tell me what does the parrot eat nuts seeds or fish? Yes. The right answer is nuts. Parrot eat nuts. Now this is a picture of a hummingbird. Tell me what does the hummingbird eat its nuts nectar or seeds yes the right answer is nectar 
humming bird sucks the nectar from the flower so i am putting a tick on the nectar we also studied about feathers in this lesson so can you recall the beautiful feathers of a peacock do you know that peacock is our national bird it is found throughout india the feathers of the, of, of birds keeps falling and new ones grow in their place now we are going to discuss about feet and claws of birds claws or feet are very important tool for birds birds use feet and claws for walking climbing holding food for swimming for perching and etc shape of the feet and claw depend upon their eating habit now the legs of the birds are used for performing variety of functions yes the birds use the claws in different ways yes it is of different size shape and to suit how they live in different parts of the world and for performing various functions most birds have four toes usually three facing forward and one back few birds have three toes an ostrich has just two toes all the birds have claws at the end of the toes birds use their feet and claws for walking climbing holding food for swimming and perching now what is the meaning of perch perch mean mean to sit on have you seen the birds sitting on a electric wire and the branches of the tree that is called perching the claw are also used to catch the food the claws are also used to protect protect themselves the birds use claws in other ways now how claws help the birds yes as we have discussed the different birds have different claws now this is the picture of a sparrow can you see the feet of the sparrow yes most birds are called perching birds their feet are typically small their feet have three toes pointed towards and one toe pointed backward as you can see in the picture crows sparrow and blue jays perch on a tree they have three to toes in front and one toe at the back they use the front toes like your thumb their toes wrap around a branch to grip it firmly the this this grip is so tight that they do not fall fall off even when they sleep now have a look at the next picture yes what is it that's a rooster can you see the claws what kind of claws are they 
booster and hence scratch the ground to find insects and seeds to eat the sharp hard claws help them to scratch the ground yes scratching birds have strong feet the feet with three toes in front and one toe in back these strong feet help them to scratch the ground now tell me why do they scratch the ground yes they scratch the ground to find insects and seeds they have nail like toes now can you see the long legs yes they are the legs of heron cranes and herons have long thin legs with long spread out toes to wade through water aren't they too thin can you see the toes that prevent the birds from sinking into mud or pond but why do they go into the mud or pond so what do you think what do these birds eat yes these birds eat fishes they spread out toes prevent the birds from sinking into mud or pond it help them to walk through the water this movement is called wading now tell me which bird is this yes right that's a parrot so what kind of feet does the parrot have tell me children can you see it properly woodpecker and parrots have two toes pointed towards the front and two toes pointed towards the back this help them to climb trees and hold fruits yes now this is the picture of an eagle and what are the feet called eagles and hawks have sharp curved claws called talon they use their talon to grip and carry small animals now have a look at the next picture so what is that yes that's the duck what kind of feet that the ducks have can you see the feet properly in between the toes can you see the skin which joins the toes birds such as ducks and geese have webbed feet the toes are joined together by skin this help them to swim this is about types of feet and claws now let's discuss question and answer based on it question number 1 name the following feet this is about types of feet and claws of different birds now let's discuss some question and answers question number 1 name the following in that first one feet where the toes are joined together by skin yes that feet are called as webbed feet now question number 2 a bird which has webbed feet which bird has webbed feet tell me children yes duck has a webbed feet duck is the answer question number 3 a short pointed claw of an eagle is called tell me children the short pointed claw of an eagle is called talon question number 4 a bird that scratches the ground yes 
the right answer is roosters roosters or you can write hen a bird that scratches the ground the answer is roosters question number 5 a bird that wed through water yes think about the answer children a bird that wed through water is herons cranes and herons wed through water question number 6 a bird that climb trees yes which bird climb trees yes the right answer is parrot parrot climb trees yes we have done the revision of lesson number 6 that is birds and their bodies i hope you understood the lesson thank you